That is the last time I ever buy a Seagate product, as long as I live. All of my YouTube video backups were on this. My intros, everything, I've lost it all. All gone. Never buy Seagate, ever. Unless you want failure. Unless you want to lose nearly a decade of content. Don't ever buy Seagate products. Ever. Okay, so it's been some time since I made that last clip. It was, I'll be honest, it was not. It's been a few weeks. And so I actually found my other portable hard drive from Western Digital, and it's also dead. Both these things have died. So, first of all, we're going to go smash this one too in the vice. Why not? Just have a little fun. Second of all, this has went from a just a vlog into being sort of a PSA. Um... This just goes to show you that SSD is, is the way, you know, non-movable storage is the way. And uh, we're actually going to first destroy this second one because it's dead too. And this, this one was 500 gigs, the other one was 2 terabytes. Um, and second, we're going, to, um, we're going to dive into the world of SSD and by that, I think I should just show you what I mean. Um, so yeah, let's go to the computer and uh, we'll take a look at SSD portable drive prices. Um, I have a good feeling they're going to be quite expensive, which would bring me to step number three. So, but uh, before we get to two, or before we get to three, let's work on two, and we'll go from there. Okay, don't don't try this at home. Okay, just just watch me do it. That way, if I get hurt, at least it's me and not you. So. Rest in peace, Western Digital. You're just as bad as Seagate. In fact, I don't know if it's about the brand anymore. I think it's just about the technology that it is. SSD is king. Moving parts, old hard drives. That's I mean, it's not even old hard drive, but old technology. It sucks. And I'm so glad we've moved towards SSD. As a nation, as a country, as a world. <laughs> 
a little dramatic, wasn't it? Okay, let's just let's just let's just get on with it, you know. Yeah, it's not easy to smash, but it's still doing it. Look at that. Did you see that spark? I don't know if I got that on camera or not, but there was a spark. Cause I guess because it's metal. As you can see, aluminum is a very uh, bendable metal, which is why I think it's hilarious how Ford makes their trucks out of aluminum. So basically, if you buy a Ford truck of today, this is the kind of uh, kind of durability it has, which is not very not very good. Anyway, you get the point. So this this drive isn't done. Hey, Cannon, you want to be in the vice next? How about you go ahead and focus? Cannon. Cannon. I'm going to make a video of me crushing this camera if it doesn't focus. One. There you go. See? Yeah, all you do is thread it and then, it, you know, it behaves. But yeah. So this drive is done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and undo the vise a little bit here. And uh, we're going to go from this side. Actually, you know what? No, we'll just do it like that. See if I can get this metal bit a little bit more. All right, here we go. Guarantee you that it's definitely not gonna work now since it's already dead anyway. All right, you get the point. Hard drive is dead. Rest in peace, Western Dig Shittle. Yep. The end. The end. Also, I need to bring that upstairs and freaking put some on my squeaky gaming chair. Yeah. Okay, so we are currently on the Amazon website. I'm just going to type in portable. I could type SSD. So we got a 500 gig. Extreme Pro Plus is D for 104. They've actually gone down to price 89 dollars uh, for 500 gig. That isn't an extreme. I guess the difference is you can like kind of throw this one around. This one's not as rugged, I guess. 107. The one terabyte's 187. That's actually not bad. The G Technology ones are really nice. Those are that's 209 for one terabyte. I mean, these options are great, but I mean. You can always build your own. And I'm sure people are like, what do you mean? Well, I'll show you. And some of you may already know where I'm going with this. So let me just show you exactly what I'm talking about. So what we can do is we can take, I'm just going to type in SSD, okay? So we'll probably get a bunch of internal SSDs. Um, like right here is a 240 gig for $29. The one I have actually is silicon power okay now I have the 256 which they may be sold out of ah uh, that's the wrong kind I have a 256 version that looks like this but it's not it's not 512 so you can take that and then you can type in SSD enclosure okay and get any one of these you know seven eight dollars and that in turn will make yourself basically a portable SSD so let me switch back to my camera and I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, so apologies in advance. I know somebody's gonna point out I have a squeaky chair. Yes, I know I have a squeaky chair. I need to get that WD-40 you just saw in the clip <laughs> and use it. So I will do that probably after I make this clip. So here we go. We've got a, I think it was $30 for a 256 gig SSD, $7 for the U-Green. Um, Okay, let's try that again. I got a card error saying the card was full, which I have a hard time believing because it's 64 gigabytes. So I just switched out cards. I'll worry about that later. Probably needs a format. I don't know. Hopefully, this doesn't stop in the middle of recording too. Because if it does, then we have a problem. Anyway, time to open this up. And I don't have a knife on me. So, hopefully, and I do, I have one right here actually in the drawer. All right, 
Let's get this open. Okay. And don't cut the way I just cut, but hey, I'm just trying to get this open so we can get on with the video. All right. So also don't do what I did when you cut that because as you can see I carved right into the brand new SSD luckily you're not gonna see it but yeah you know if this were expensive I'd have been a little annoyed at that it's only 256 gigs so I'm not worried about it so yeah basically when it comes to watching videos on Danny opening things don't follow his advice on how to open stuff because you can end up jacking it up anyway not a big deal and they make these boxes rather difficult to open with somebody who has no fingernails. I like to keep my fingernails cut. I don't like long fingernails. All right. Thank you and paperwork and I don't care. And each enclosure should come with a uh, USB cable to connect the enclosure to. Uh, this is what you're going to use to connect from the enclosure itself to the computer. So, and I'm telling you, these might look intimidating, but I'm telling you, they're so easy to put together. So, let me just get this cable undone. And there you go, same plug that uh, the Seagate and the Western Digital will use. So, but Ugreen provides its cable, as most enclosure manufacturers should. Most of them should provide a cable. Uh, if they don't, that's kind of weird, actually. So, I doubt you'll ever run into the issue. Okay, so it comes with instructions, but I'll show you. This is easy. So you see these right here? That means this slides just like that. Slides right up. And what you do? I mean, it's just plug and play. It's so simple. So what you do? You just want to make sure that the connector to both the SSD and the enclosure are lined up. So small end, small end, big end, big end. And you just go slide and push. And there you go, it is in, that is it. And you, my friend, now have an external SSD drive you can use. And I'm going to use mine to transfer my videos because uh, as I don't know if I stated during my angry, angrily destroying the Seagate drive but that was what held my YouTube videos luckily I've since then replaced that drive um, with another Seagate believe it or not but it just goes to show you it doesn't matter what brand it is man this is not easy to get back on it doesn't it just goes to show you it doesn't matter what brand it is they can all fail that's part of this video is part of the point so that just slides in like Okay, I got it. There we go. Both sides are now even, so now it just slides. Or we're supposed to, anyway. There we go. A little bit of force, and it looks like that's still not all the way on. Hold on. There we go. Now it is. All right, just a little bit of force, and it's put together. So now, this is 256 gigs. So I also want to pull off that. A little extra I'll do that later anyway let's go ahead and go back to the computer we're gonna go ahead and plug it in I'll show you that it works just just fine no problem okay so this why is my camera so high oh it's using the wrong camera sorry guys this camera is like not even really legit set up but here we are whatever not the point so I got the thing all put together and it looks like it's got an indicator light on the front so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and it should pop up like a little message on the screen so assuming I did everything right which is you know not hard to do oh it says you green protect what you love well, in this case it's a 256 gig SSD so we're gonna go ahead and plug it in to my available USB port like so we got the indicator light so I got it plugged in and nothing shows up. Okay, don't panic if that's the case. 
what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to the Windows key. All right. I'm just going to type in partition. Man, actually, you know what? Just partition. It says create and format disk partitions right there on the uh, right here. Click that. It's going to open up disk management. Oh, look. It's like there is a new disk. So this is disk number seven because I have six other ones installed already. So we're just going to leave it GPT. This is the GUID partition table. All right. That's what everybody uses these days. Um, old versions of Windows have trouble reading GPT, but most likely you'll be fine using the new the new standard. So we're gonna hit OK. Uh, Specify disk and that can roll because it's less than minimum. Blah blah blah. Okay, well maybe I just gonna eat my words then. So where is the new drive? Disk seven, disk seven, not disk seven. <laughs> Initialize disk. Maybe I have to, maybe because it's only 256 gigs, I may have to do MBR. So we'll try MBR instead of GPT. Device is not ready. Okay, well, get we to do one or the other. Come on. Hmm. Properties. Device is working properly. Driver details. That's not going to do anything. Okay, so let me just unplug it and plug it back in. See what happens. Okay, plug it back in. Unknown. Initialize GPT. The specified disk is not convertible because the size is less than the minimum size of whatever GPT, GPT disks. MBR. Device is not ready. It will pick. You have to do something. All right. I hit up Google. Okay, so I reseeded the stupid thing. And it's still, no matter what option I choose, it's either not ready or if I go to initialize disk and GPT, it says the disk is not going to roll because the size is less than memory size, size required for. I've never even heard of a minimum size requirement for GPT. It's crazy to me how when I'm not recording something, everything just works. As soon as I start making a video on something else or on anything related to tech, it just wants to shit the bed every time. And it's honestly very annoying. Files is a mirror. Uh, let's see. So we're going to go into command. And I'm going to type. See, it doesn't have a letter, though. That's the thing. It doesn't have a letter. We haven't even gotten that far yet. So how can I do that if it doesn't have a letter? I'm not going to buy no scan now software. Scam now. Okay. I've done everything I can, that I know to do, at least with the windows. I've restarted the computer, everything. It will not initialize the disk. So this just became a big headache, but I have one more, one more trick up my sleeve that just might work. Let's go to it. Glorious Macintosh. Let's try your disk utility and see if it works. I am at my wit's end. So let me get the password going and uh, move from there. Because all I need to do is initialize the disk. I can always format it to Windows, but I can't even get it to initialize. So we'll try and see what OS 10 does. Plugged in. All right, just gonna toss it right there because whatever. Um. P I S K utility. All right, let's see if it even detects it. So far, I don't see anything. Nothing. Just a uh, two USB sticks. Well, 
No, I don't want to do that. No, no. Maybe it's just a bad SSD, which is really rare. But not totally impossible. This is supposed to be a simple, just, you know, alternative to install. <laughs> this is just supposed to be a simple alternative to uh, hard drives, and it's becoming a bigger pain in the ass than I intended. Could it be a bad SSD? It could very well be. I would be surprised, but it could always be a bad SSD. It makes me want to take out the one terabyte that's in this package still. It makes me want to take it out and see if it works. It could also be a bad enclosure, which is rare also. I mean, it, it, that would be more likely the problem. This is for the iMac though. I don't really don't want to open it yet until I'm working on the iMac. But I kind of want to know. Let me do a bit more research and then I'll be back with something. So we'll see. Okay, so I booted up Bowsette, which is a training PC. Um, and uh, we're going to plug this in. See if we can't get it to work on my uh, little data recovery machine. It's just, a, it's a, honestly just a, a docking station for drives that I use for customers all the time. And it's hooked up to my streaming PC. If I put it in the right way, that might help. Okay, plugged in. And it was detected. So. It could just be the U-Green uh, external enclosure, which would be nice because that be, that's an easy fix, but we'll see. Okay, unallocated. Oh, look at that. Initialized disk, GPT. Okay, new simple volume. Well, look at that. Look at that. Works no problem. <laughs> okay. That's the mystery. Mystery is solved. It's this U-Green enclosure. It's boo-boo. And it's going back to Amazon. So, I'm not going to link that below by any means. But yeah, at least we have the problem solved. A little adventure. But uh, anyway, if you get an enclosure that actually works... With an SSD, you can save a ton of money instead of buying an SSD from these companies. Now, this is only 256 gigs. I, will, I bought that just to demonstrate what you can do. If I were you, I would look at a 2 terabyte SSD or a 1 terabyte SSD. Uh, actually, yeah, I'd look at 1 terabyte SSD. You can get them really as low as $120 these days. There's a lot of sales all the time. You have a micro center nearby. Um, you can, you know, a lot of times find deals, maybe even cheaper than that. And I would use that with a proper working enclosure. And I would use that to uh, defeat using a portable hard drive that's just going to die in a couple years. Or in my case, one year. So, And for those of you who are wondering what I replaced that with, I have a 6 terabyte hard disk drive with my YouTube videos on it that backs up to the cloud now. So I will never, ever lose data again. Not to mention, it backs up to the second hard drive. So I got a backup to the backup. And then from that back up to the cloud. And I will always have my content. Thank you all so much for watching this very rough, rough video. I'm glad we figured out the, the, the culprit. This piece of crap. And uh, yeah, until next time. The drive works just fine. Thanks for watching.